Good morning, the old fisherman. Back with you. Lake Monticello again on a pretty Thursday morning. We're going to try to catch some more of these white perch. Weather's going to be pretty today, so I don't look forward to... Well, I look forward to fishing, but I don't know what we're going to catch. You know, uh, it's just too warm. Winter has gone, spring is here, and I always have trouble when the weather gets warm. We'll see. Hey, maybe I can prove myself wrong today. We're going to drop to the bottom and see what we can do here. Oh, there's a bite already. Oh, oh that's a good start. <laughs> Anytime you raise it up the first time and get a bite, you got to love that. You got to, you got to love that. And I mean, he's a nice one too, buddy. I mean, he's a good one. Jumbo perch. Look at that. Look at that one of white perch people. Drop that baby back down here. Yeah. Look at that one of white perch already. This morning, I'm telling you, you got to love it. Look at here. Huh? The first drop is what I call. The first drop, you got to love that. That's a pound of quarter perch. The first drop. So that might that might be encouraging. I tell you what, looks like it's a few down there on the fish finder. See what happens. It might be a good day here. Tell you what, never can tell. There he is. Uh oh, there he is. We might be stumbling on something here this morning, people. Now, that's a nice. Well, I don't know if he is or not. Can't really tell. Pulling pretty good. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's uh, not a whopper, but he's not bad. A monocella white perch. I'll tell you what, just when you think it's too warm, they don't quit, you find them. And let's, say, let's hope they stay here. I messed up my little gup shrimp here this morning, but we'll fix it. Drop it back down to the bottom. Old Looney's here with us again. That Looney is always with you. Steve Cumberland, Thursday. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Picture perfect if you want to be on the water and just enjoy the uh, scenery and the, and the sun coming up. And maybe we'll catch a few fish. Hey, you never know. Already caught two. I know that. So you never know what might happen. Keep on plugging, put your nose to the wind, and hope for that next bite. And if you keep trying, you will get another bite. If you keep trying, I promise. All right, perch, stay with me now. Don't leave. That's the only thing about these perch this time. Uh, when the water gets over 60, it's over 60 degrees down there now. Temperature, the water's over 60. Ain't that something? Already, February. We've had some warm weather. This is a nice perch right here. This is a nice perch right here, people. Nice one. Oh, Lord. Two of them, two, uh, one nice one and one little one, but two of them at a time. White perch, Lake Monticello. Boy, I tell you what, you got to love it. You got to love it. Drop it back down to the bottom. I tell you, right now I'm the only one right out here where where I'm fishing out here. I don't see another boat. I see a couple riding by a while ago, but fish finders 57 foot deep and looks like a good many fish down there so i believe and we more in today we're not in our old hole we in the secondary hole and maybe they done pushed back in here as warm as it's getting they probably working back toward these coves that's what i'm thinking anyhow that's why i come back here i stopped at my old hole out there and caught four fish so that just goes to show they ain't there all the time and when you don't catch them you got to keep searching get in the search mode till you get on them Prime example of what I've been talking about. You can't give up. You gotta keep looking. And sooner or later you'll stumble on them. But uh, we got a couple of us. It looks like a few fish swimming by. So if I can get on them and stay on them, that's the thing. They're moving real fast. Real fast in the warmer water temperature. All right, Mr. Perch, I'm here. Kind of fell off the side of this hump. I'm going to pull back up on it. There's another one. There's another one. A monocella white perch. Oh, Lord. That's a nice fish right there. Feels like a nice one. I ain't too sure that ain't a large mass bass. One big, one big old perch. Woo, 
But look at that, what a hammer. Huh? Now that's a hammer. That, my friend, is a big one. <laughs> on a, on a gup shrimp, a new penny. Look at this fish. Huh? Look at this fish right here, would you? Look at this fish right here. That is a whopper. Look at the size of that sucker. Holy Lord. Hey, hey. I'll tell you one thing. That is a nice one. Man alive. You got to love that. Oh my God, the fish finder is full. The big ones is under me, the yellows. I told you about them yellow. When it's yellow hooks, it's big fish. And they there right down. They right under us. That big drove's done pushed in here in this cove, and they under us. All I got to do is get it down. I swan if I can get it down, I believe I can catch another right quick. Oh, my goodness. What a school of fish was under me right down the road. Hey, Jay. That was old mother load right there come through. I don't see them the second now. I, you know, they come through real quick. I didn't get my plug down there quick enough. That was one big old drove of fish. I mean, what? There you is. There you is. There you is. There you is. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. The old fisherman's going to have a good time if they keep this up. Hey, day. That's a nice perch. Got him on the spoon. Oh, my. I tell you what, they might be in here feeding people. They might be in here feeding. Hey, you got to love it. <laughs> I keep saying it, but you got to love it. Oh, them old big perch, y'all don't realize when you get a perch that size, they pull. I mean, they pull. It feels good pulling them size up, I tell you. Especially when you get a couple on at a time. Man, that, you just can't beat it. You, you just can't beat it. A couple at a time. Huh. I'm telling you right now, that makes you keep coming back. There's another. Oh, there's another. Oh, I think he got off. I think he got off. Drop him back down. Maybe another to take it. Since it looks like they might be pretty thick in there. You just keep them under us. Right now, I don't see them, but... Hey, a while ago, there was a bunch of perch come through here. I'm talking major school. There's nothing. There's nothing. And he's a good one. He's a good one. He is a good one. He's a good one. Hey, day. Man, what a perch. Look at that. Look at that, what a perch. Grandpa. I'm talking grandpa perch. Hey. Day! Huh. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this while I'm dropping it back down the size of the perch. Huh? Them's grandpa's. Grandpa. Look at that. That is one fine white perch. Hey, hey. Man. Mm -mm -mm. And I dropped right out there in my honey hole. Didn't get a bite. Well, I said I didn't bite. I caught four little ones. Not a bite like that. But now, I drop in here, and guess what? I'm telling you, you got to keep searching when you don't find them, and you might find them. They moved in. There's another one. Oh, my. And there's another one. A monocella. White perch. And they're killing it. They're killing it on a pretty day, too. Killing it. Hey, day. Look at there. I'm talking magnum white perch. Just total magnums. Look at that. Okay. Huh. Man. If you don't love this, you don't like it. You don't like excitement. Because this is total excitement. I'm tired. <laughs> oh Lord, I had a hard time sleeping last night worried about going fishing. I'm like a youngster at heart when it comes to fishing, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. It's wonderful. Wonderful. That's all I can say. And these fish in almost 60 foot of water. They out here deep in the back, in the back of this secondary hunt. It's moved back in this little channel. And I believe they're here. 
I believe they are here. Mm -hmm. They, oh, <laughs> oh, I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. Oh, my. Oh, my. Big birds, too, buddy. Them bigger. Man. Them mom. There you go. Oh, I missed him again. I believe you probably pulled my jig down. I bet you. Maybe that hit the other. You know. I'll tell you. Yeah, he's got my jig messed up. I know it. I feel it. I got to pull it in and check it. That's all I can do. Pull it in and check it because I know it's messed up. Yep. Got it all pulled down. Buddy, when they get it pulled down, they don't want it. They don't want it when you get it pulled down. You got to have it looking like a metal anyhow. You got to have it looking like a metal. Oh my. What a day this is starting off to be. Might be another one of the Bonanza days. I had that first of the week. Okay, day. Magnum purchase. Magnum. I doubt I'll be able to keep them under me, though. It's just too warm. They're going to be moving. I doubt I'll be able to keep them under me. But we're going to try, i tell you that. We're going to try. We done caught a couple fine perch here this morning. I mean, that's about as big as you're going to catch in this lake. That's for sure. Yes, sir. That is for sure. So we can stir them back up with the paddle again. They might come back to it. Fifty-nine foot. What I need to do is uh, pull right back up here a little bit. Get off the tip of this thing. That's where I found them at. Off the tip. Come on, Mr. Perch. I, I need you to hit again. That was so much fun. See, if it be real cold weather and you find them like that, you can sit right there and just hammer them. They'll stay right under you. But when it's warm, they spin it and they move it. They follow this, this bait. And uh, they hit pretty good size shad because they spit up a couple in my bucket. And uh, pretty good size bait. The shad, they got pretty big. Hitting tread fin shad. Now see, got off of them. You want, if you're not on them, you can't catch them. It's that simple. You got to bring them to you or try to find them. One or the two. That's why I tap on the boat. Hopefully they come to that noise. But I'm not too sure they're not getting immune to that now. So you got to keep changing. Keep doing different things. They out here somewhere. They hadn't moved that far, did you? They hadn't moved that far. That's a little one now. That's not a big one now. I'm telling you what they like. They like to see the other ones coming up. When they, if it makes them get in a, uh, a feed, when they see fish coming up, they think they're feeding on something, and then it makes the rest of them come. I don't know if they put out some kind of signal when you hook them like that, or what they do. But it seems like once you start catching them, they show up. It, it's like the school comes to you, and that's what you do. You try to draw them to you, and the more you can keep pulling them up, the more they'll come to you. Man, now a couple first couple fish with whoppers. I'd like to get in some more of that action. That's the same school that I was probably in our channel money. Bonanza fish, whoppers, hammers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, magnums. All kind of different names of these big perch. I'm gonna tell you right now, there was a couple big ones under there when I first dropped there. Last February, I caught them in here real good. But this year, I hadn't found them in here that, that good. They might be moving in here now. Might be moving in here now. Hey, oh, he is hard and I missed him. Yeah. 
He's not that big though. He's he's a keeper size. He ain't no he ain't as big as I thought he was. Actually a loony fish. Actually a loony fish. Alright, get back out and get him to you gotta get that big school back on him. See a boat coming yonder. Probably been watching my videos. Yep, coming this way. Coming this way. That's not a good sign. Alright. Thursday morning. Beautiful, beautiful weather. We just got to get on some more white perk. Alright, Mr. Perch. Let's see what you got. Where you at? Where you at? White Perch, Lake Monticello. And a boat on the way. Definitely coming up to me. I'm gonna let you go, that boat's coming up. I'm gonna turn you off, I'll get back with you in a minute. Talk with you in a minute. Steve Cumberland, Lake Monticello.